الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. It's important when we're praying in Salat al Jama'a, you know, in the congregational prayer, to straighten our rows, to line up our rows and put our feet together. Put our feet together as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in did. And in the hadith, an Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sawoo sufufukum, fa inna taswiyat al sufuf min tamam al salat. Akhrajahum Muslim, akhrajahum Bukhari, wa Muslim, wa Abu Dawood, wa Ghayr, wa Bayhaqi, wa Ibn Majah. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu that was narrated by Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, straighten your rows for verily within the straightening of the rows is the completion of the prayer. In this hadith we find many, many benefits. One of the benefits that the ulama they mention is that it is legislated to straighten your rows when you are praying during the prayer and that straightening the rows also is one of the reasons for one's prayer being complete so from this the ulama they say that it's mustahab to straighten your rows that it is recommended and you will receive reward for straightening the rows and this is the madhab of the jamhur ul ulama this is the madhab of the jamhur of the ulama, meaning the majority of the ulama, they have this madhab that it is mustahab to straighten the rows. And some of the ulama, they say that it is wajib, it's an obligation that if you leave straightening the rows, you have sinned. And they use for evidence the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, where he said, Let us sufufukum. That the Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith that you should straighten your uh, your rows, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make uh, differences uh, between you. And this is evidence, some of them, because there's a punishment attached to that hadith that it is an obligation to straighten your rows. Another benefit that we gain from this hadith is the, that it is disliked to just be lazy with, it, with your rows, with regards to the rows, that we should straighten it, we should try to put our feet together, you know, be, be close together. And that the, those people who are lazy with regards to straightening their rows, this takes away from their ajr. It's naqs in their salat, as the ulama mentioned. Also, this hadith shows us the benefit of salat and jama'ah. Because in order to straighten your rows, you, it's, you don't straighten your rows when you're by yourself. You straighten your rows when you're in jama'ah, when you're in congregational prayer. So from this shows us the wisdom and the importance of praying in salat al jama'ah if you are able to do so. And it is also said that some of the hikmah or wisdom behind straightening the rows is that it agrees with the rows of the malaika, of the angels, that they are straight in their rows. And the evidence for this is a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said, where they said, خَرَجَ عَلَيْنَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ فَقَال The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to us and he said, أَلَا تَصُفُونَ, ألا تصفون كَمَا تَصَفَ الْمَلَائِكَ عِنْدَ رَبِّهَا قُلْنَا يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ كَيْفَ تَصَفَ الْمَلَائِكَ عند ربها قال يتمون الصفوف الأول ويتراسون في الصف that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم came and he prayed with his companions and he said uh, don't you want to straighten your rows make your rows similar to the way the angels do with their Lord for their Lord and they say they said oh messenger of Allah how can we make our rows like the angels do with uh, with their Lord. And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, complete your, uh, your, your lines, the 
first, the first road, and then in order, like that. And straighten your rows. So in this hadith, it shows us that this is one of the wisdoms behind straightening the rows. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.